Hey guys, so I recently went to a Turkish restaurant with a really good friend of mine and I came across this amazing coffee that I have never tried before um, that's Turkish coffee. Um, I am a huge fan of coffee, any kind of coffee, especially coffee that's not just regular. I really enjoy um, coffees that are authentic and that take time, love, and all of that. So this seemed to be that kind of coffee. Um, I pretty much asked the chef to come out and explain to me how he made this coffee, whoever the guy who made the coffee. And he showed me what he used, he told me how he made it. So I'm going to try to make it myself. Um, as you see here, I have the uh, two coaster, two plates with uh, espresso cups, they're like double walled espresso cups, with a piece of baklava, which I got from the restaurant and um what you see here is a copper so this is the actual turkish coffee maker i don't know what this is called i got this from sir la Tab. i found this today um it's like a copper it's really uh middle eastern ish looking um but it's really 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 pretty so i got that that's what he showed me how he made the coffee um he also sent me to a turkish Mediterranean, Middle Eastern um, grocery store to buy the actual coffee. And I also bought this pot, um, which I will probably use later, but I think I'm gonna try to use the original one he introduced me to, just to make sure I get it right. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the coffee that he suggested I use. Um, this is not in English, it's called Kukaravechi Mamet Ifendi Kirk Kavesi. So, um, this is the brand that he said he uses. The guy at the actual Turkish uh, grocery store said that that's the brand that he also uses. So, apparently, this is a pretty good brand. So, I got this coffee. It wasn't expensive, it was like $2 for this pack. I don't know how much you're going to get out of this pack. Well, he told me. Because I like my coffee strong, it's going to be one and a half heaping tablespoons per cup. So, let's open this guy up and let's do that. So, he said first we're going to fill the cups with room temperature water to get the right measurement. And we're going to pour that into the after I spill it everywhere, maker. Okay. Epic fail. So we'll put a little bit more of that in there to compensate for what I spilled. Then he said to put then the sugar. So I like it sweet. Um, so he said about one per person, so let's do two. Let's do three. Same thing with the coffee. So he said one heaping tablespoon per cup. One, two, and like I said, one and a half if you like it strong. So three, because I'm doing two. So now that I've cleaned up my mess, on medium heat, I put my burner, um, and I'm gonna put my little coffee maker on the burner. He said do not stir it immediately, so I'm gonna let it, I guess I'll just leave it there for like a second before I stir it. You can see that the heat's transferring to the copper. Um, Stir it. Apparently this coffee leaves like the sand or the coffee under. 
when you drink it. I remember I drank mine pretty quickly. He said I drank it too quickly. I'm a quick drinker. Um, so I don't know if I left much sand. But apparently sometimes they can tell you about your life and your future after you, um, I guess, for whatever sand you leave behind. So pretty much, I'm, I just stirred it up. I'm supposed to leave it alone until it starts to become to a boil until it, and until it also makes its own crema, um, which I am no stranger to. I love a coffee that produces crema. So I'm gonna leave it alone until it produces its own crema. And look at my beautiful plates that I put my espresso things on. They were a gift to me from my aunt, Rosemary and Thyme. These are beautiful Marquesa uh, Lennox accent plates. So I got to use them for the second time today. Okay, so I just dipped my spoon in there. It's been like a second and I do see some crema. So he said that first amount of crema, you're gonna distribute it in the cup between the two cups. Like that. So you're just gonna put it in the cup. Then, when it makes another crema, that's when you pour it into the cup. So pretty much you're gonna boil it or cook it till it gets crema twice. All right, so the crema came up again, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and pour it into each cup. I think I did this one too fast. You see, you're supposed to do it very slow. I kind of have like a lot left over. Hmm. Well, here you go. Here's my Turkish coffee with my baklava that I got. I just had a sip of mine and I gotta tell you, it's like amazing. I'm actually really proud of myself. I did a really good job. I'm supposed to do it very slowly and then eat it with your baklava. Until next time.